Tonight was the big night. The night we'd been waiting for our whole lives. Just the three of us on a mad, wild dash to collect as much candy as humanly possible in one evening. It was going to be perfect. After school, I said goodbye to my dad and ran up the steps to Paulo's house. Gordon was already there. After I hurried dinner, we left Paulo's house and ran across the front lawn. Hey guys, it'll be faster if we cut across Mr. McGregor's field. That way, we'll get, we'll get to the houses sooner and collect more loot. I looked at Gordon. Mr. McGregor's field was full of tall, dried out corn stalks taller than us. The moon was rising, a thin yellow crescent that gave off a little light. Switching on our flashlights, we pushed our way through the row after row of dried corn. Paolo was in the lead, and we followed him for ten minutes before any of us spoke. Hey, Paolo, are, are you sure you know where we're going? Of course he does. Paolo didn't say anything, but he just kept pushing his way through the corn stalks. Another five minutes passed, and Paolo slowed down. Would either of you guys like to lead? I think we're almost there. Just what I thought. We're lost. How could you have gotten us lost? You said you knew the way. Well, we came from that way, so let's try this way. Since there was no other way to go, we headed to the right. Halloween's probably half over. By the time we get out of here, it'll be too late to get any candy. Suddenly, the night was filled with thunder and a blood-curdling shriek. <coughs> us all to jump. What was that? The three of us started to run. Faster and faster we ran through the field. Stalks of corn catching our clothes and slapping our faces. And then it happened. The corn stalks in front of us parted. A flash of lightning streaked across the sky, lighting the clearing. In the light I could see a dark creature emerging from the rows of the corn.